Welcome back. Bow Count's still hanging out. You've been here. Thanks for being here That's all right. day. I dressed up for the occasion. Yeah, you did. You got the sparkly yeah. jacket on. Well, and the, the, the classic bow tie shirt <laughs> yes. never goes out of style. That's right. You're making something special because New Year's Eve is coming up. Earlier we were talking about dry January. You're going to have some drinks there for folks on New Year's Eve. That's right. That's right. But for those of you at home, one of the things that happens every New Year's Eve is you get so much champagne. That's what do you do with it? Yeah. Well, other than drink it, sometimes you'll find that bottle of champagne sitting in your fridge and it's maybe it's gone flat and you're like, well, what do I, I spent how many, $20, $30, $100 on right. this champagne. What do I do? Don't waste it. That's one of the things about, uh, you know, a good New Year's resolution. Limit food waste and repurposing different ingredients like and finding other ways to use them is, is an amazing thing to do in the new year. And one of the cool things you could do with leftover champagne is make champagne syrup. What? And this is good for, you know, at least a week or two in the fridge if you add a little bit of lemon juice. But I'll tell you exactly how to make it. It's not hard. You take that leftover champagne okay. and you just make a one-to-one -one simple syrup. Uh, one to one with sugar. Sugar. So okay. uh, if you you know one cup of sugar to one cup of champagne, you know honestly, if you want to measure correctly, start using that metric system. Measure by weight, not by volume. Okay. But you, if you want, you know, have a cup of this, a cup of that. Add a little bit of lemon juice while you're heating up your champagne. Uh, just put it on the on the the stove top. Get it to where it's nice and warm. To Does it need that... to bubble or just no, kind of a medium heat? Just medium heat. Yeah, yeah. Although if you want to make it bubble and burn off some of that alcohol and kind of you know stay true to those New Year's resolutions, you can. But just warm enough to melt that sugar. Okay. And then you let it sit and cool. And then you've got this. You can add it to all sorts of stuff when you're cooking, anywhere you use a sweetener, or you can add it to a cocktail. Interesting. And I, all right. I thought we would make a couple of champagne daiquiris. Okay. So yeah, great. A daiquiri is a classic cocktail. It's rum, lime, sugar, super easy, but you can spice it up with a little champagne. And a fun thing, a little fun fact, coupe glasses were the original champagne glass. Were it they? It wasn't the flute because... You get that nose every time you sip out of a coupe that you don't get out of a flute. So if you have these at home, you're like, oh, I don't have a flute. I can't share champagne. This is the OG way to do the coupe. it. coupe. Okay. Yeah. So let's just make a daiquiri, let's shall do it. we? Yeah, Super it, easy. Two ounces of uh, your favorite silver rum. Uh, we're going to be making a double, so I'm going to do four ounces. Um, you know, in this, so whatever this is one you're going to shake up, right? Because you're putting it in the, uh, the shaker. This is a shaken cocktail. Yeah. And then for every two ounces of your rum, you're going to want three fourths of an ounce of fresh lime juice. So never buy that little squeezy lime. <laughs> That's the grody stuff. You don't want that. Uh, just get a lime and squeeze it. Yeah. It's not hard. And then for every serving, another three fourths ounce of your champagne syrup. This is going to be a little bit sweeter. That you've just made, that you've just created for just, your leftover champagne. Just at New fresh. Year's. Yeah. And then get a little bit of ice in your tin and then you shake. Uh, and the cool thing about daiquiris is you can make them as sweet as you want. Like, uh, I wouldn't go below a half an ounce of your, your syrup, but uh, you can go anywhere from a half ounce to three fourths. Give it a shake. I love it. Your favorite shaker tin. And then you want to shake these things until your fingers start to get cold and you start to see Frost. Your, your fingerprint. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got it. And then now, now earlier you you garnished with a lemon. Is there a garnish for this drink or no? So on on a daiquiri, you know, traditionally people will will, will garnish with a lime. Mm -hmm. You know, and you sound uh, sad about that, or like it's letting you it, down. Yeah, somehow. you know, <laughs> it, it can. Like you, you, a daiquiri is best served pretty much just straight. Just straight up. You know, but if you want to get fancy, if you want to repurpose and have less waste in your house for for the holidays, yeah. then you should use uh, a dehydrator and get yourself oh, look at that. some dehydrated lime wheels. And you just place it right there on your drink, like so. Look at that, floating on top. Boom. Beautiful. You know, you, you, you those old limes, you're like, what am I going to do with all these limes? Well, throw them in the dehydrator. These can keep in your cabinet for a long time. Cheers. And you're good. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You see, you get that. Oh, man, that's good. That subtle champagne yes. flavor coming in there. You get all that fun things that you love about a daiquiri all in one glass. Oh, well, and you're, you're recycling, reusing some of your waste. Two repurposed so I love waste. That. You've got the dehydrated lime yeah. and the repurposed That's champagne. It. Yeah, we'll have that information for you over on our website. Check